right, so what are we up to today? Well, we're looking at an Isuzu 4BD1T engine, which is in my six-wheel drive ambulance, my Land Rover Parenti ambulance. Now, some of the astute among you might notice this fan belt sitting very, very deep on this pulley. So, we have a brand spanking new one that we're going to put in here. In case you're wondering what type of belt this is, this is the 15A1205 belt. And that uh, doesn't really matter if you've got air conditioning and whatnot because they're on a separate pulley. The uh, big 24 volt alternator down here is on its own set of pulley. And it has two different belts. If I can push this camera forward, it's on a very strong magnet. It's got two belts, which are a different, uh, they're an A section belt anyway. So, um, we need to pull both of them off before we can get this guy off. So uh, that's what we're going to start with. I'm also very, very tired right now and uh, MS is kicking my ass. So we might do this uh, slowly over time. But uh, hopefully through the magic of video, this will be relatively quick. Now I've shifted my camera around to a different angle to demonstrate something. If you're not familiar, this little bit here is used to adjust the tension of the belt using the alternator itself. Now, usually I would lo loosen the lower bolt, but I don't think I'm going to have to need to with this. Now, there is this bracket on top here that is used to hold the pipes, and that gets in the way of that nut, so that might get a bit of a readjustment um, when I'm done with this. But anyway, that's holding the heater pipes. Now, uh, all right, I need to find a long socket to get into that one. Let's see what I have. All right, because I know this vehicle pretty well, I can pretty well guess that it's probably going to be a 12 mil. Indeed it is. Um, now I need to find my big ratchet. It's over the other side here. Where are we? It's a big ratchet up here. Let's try this guy. And now it's in righty-tighty mode. We need to go lefty-loosey mode. All right. We can loosen this up. Should be plenty loose enough there. Alright, now, can we push our alternator up back across? There we go. That should loosen everything up. Right, now, we have to crawl underneath and loosen the jockey wheel or the jockey bearing. Um, I think that's what they call it in that they refer to the belt tensioner as the jockey bearing or jockey pulley uh, in the service manual. We've got to get underneath and loosen that up for the belts for the alternator, which I want to tension that bump anyway. The new belts have stretched a little. So let's get underneath. All right, one side effect of MS, or at least in my case with the brain lesions, I guess that's what's causing it. Laying on my back in this particular position makes me really horribly dizzy. So, and this thing's far too heavy to get on to the two post hoist. It's too big to even get to it. All right, let's swing our GoPro up here and have a look. I think we can stick our magnet on here. So this is our jockey pulley. We need to loosen that nut. And then that should slacken off and we can pull these pulleys off. Hopefully we won't pull them completely off the alternator because it would make them really, I'm gonna need two people to get them back on then. Let's take our big shifter Mostly because I can't get my little socket onto that because the belts are in the way now. Oh, and that just felt like I rounded the edge of it off, which is really not ideal. So let's get you about there. And that would probably be because I was loosening it and not tightening it. Now, oh, this one got done up tight. Now, that's probably because I'm trying to tighten it up too. Ah, oh, there's a grease nipple on that pulley. I think I'll put some grease in that while I'm here too. And I think I should probably find an open-ended spanner for this. Um, this is exactly at the wrong spot to get this shifter on. And yeah, I think I'm going to get an open-ended spanner. Give me a moment. 
All right, we've got a 19 mil open end up. And I don't know how I did this up last time. There we go, nice and firm. All right, now, these belts have at least got to come off the main drive shaft. And I'm glad I'm on a GoPro because I just got a message then. Let me have a think about how I've got to do this. Um, that belt there has to come off entirely. Oh, I'm going to have to thread these belts completely off that main drive shaft again. Oh, it's a pain in the ass. I'm going to have to get my pry bar now. Um, now, normally I would just cut this to get it off, but two problems. One, if I've got the wrong size belt, I can't drive down and get another one, or I've got to take a different vehicle. And two, um, I'm going to have to thread the other one down here anyway. So it's worth figuring out how to get the belt past. It's this stupid plastic air cowl thing that's on the radiator that gets in the way. Well, I guess these guys... Yeah, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need my pry bar in a minute. Now, I hope you guys can see what's going on. My pry bar is MIA. So I'm forcing these through with a spanner which is probably potentially kind of on the radiator if I get something wrong. All right. Oh, this is a bastard having to take these all the way off. I really hoped to avoid having to do this part, but I'd much rather go to this much trouble to replace a fan belt and to have it fail in the field and cook my engine because it's not getting any coolant. Now, this is the one bit why I hate working on vehicles, is laying on the ground in uncomfortable dirty spots with shit that seemingly was never designed to be serviced. Uh, all right, I think I got the belts off that bit. All right, good. Now, they can stay. If I'm lucky, they'll stay there. Now, I'm gonna get the grease gun and whack a bit of grease in this guy. But before I do that, I'm gonna get this belt off, which means I need to derail it from the alternator pulley up the top, which means I gotta get up again. Then I gotta lay back down again and get fucking dizzy. I'm not looking forward to that. However, I am pretty confident I got the same belt because this is a 15A1205, which is exactly the other belt that I've got. So cutting this off is potentially an option, but I still need to learn how to get it off here. So let's go back up the top again. All right, now we've got some slack up the top here. We can derail this guy. Need a bit more slack though. Let's get my thingy my bob out here. I'm gonna push this bit a bit further in. So we can pull our, whoop, bump our camera out of the way. Let's. This one really needs to ride up and over that pulley nut. I need more slack again. Let's see how we go. Surely that's got to be enough. So close. There we go. And we're off. I'm just thinking it might be sensible of me to start to thread the other belt while I'm already here. Let's grab our new belt. Let's see how we go here. That could potentially confuse things, but you can see already that sits much better on the pulley. Now. Ah, yeah. Okay, this guy's gotta go around the fan, which means I need a step ladder. All right, had an SD card, full warning. That's bullshit, it's a 128 gig SD card. Now, I got underneath before, and before one of the roulettes is gonna interrupt me. And that's a formation of four PC21s coming overhead. Ah, damn it, I had this belt unthreaded from that pulley so that I could pull it up through the bottom. There we go. Now, we should be able to thread this through the fan. 
this way. And get it out. Now we can compare old and new belt. Is our new belt? Is our old belt? Our old belt's been running way up the top here. It's knackered. So let's see how we go here. I'll thread this through the fan and rotate you through. Hopefully we're lucky and we'll be able to get this on the other side of that fan. I need to think about what I'm doing for a minute. Um, yeah, so you need to go in that way. There you go. Spin you around and pull it past the blades as I go around. All right. Almost. All right, that's it around that's around the water pump. Now while I'm here, I'm told there is a grease nipple sometimes on the bottom of these water pumps. I've never in my never seen one in here and it would be in a prick of a spot if it is. Um that's the one everybody forgets, I'm told, too. So it's worth having a good inspection while I'm down here. Well, the water pump seems to be quite smooth. It looks like I have one of the older style water pumps here without the grease nipple. And I can't even get my finger on that to find it. Um, wow. I think I'm going to look for that later with an inspection camera. Um, now, I've got to get this fan belt down in front of the main dry shaft pulley along with all the other belts now I'm sitting on my chin on a step ladder here oh, and getting my hand stuck it's not getting my hand stuck it would be a mighty inconvenient place to do that all right I think I can probably almost feed it in there now Sorry about the long cut here guys, this is just, um, it's a prick of a job. I think I can see it where I can get it with my hands now. Let's get back underneath. Alright, I think we can go to see what I'm doing through the viewfinder. Now I've got to fish around here till I can find that belt. Which I can sort of find. I need to pull it past this plastic thing. Just like the other bloody belts. Ah. Uh, this is the bit where you really need two people or really long arms which I sort of have but let's see if I can get you past that luckily I let the engine cool off a bit or this would be a quite a challenging job and now I'm getting dirt in the eyes oh, who said this was going to be a quick and easy job so now I can't, can't see what I'm doing I'm working by feel and this jockey pulley's getting in the way. I wish I had my pry bar. At least a long screwdriver. Maybe a spanner will do it. But the spanner's MIA. Uh, what can we reach? Ah, I have a broken spanner. Which might work as a suitable little hook to bring it over. Not really. There's a stupid hunk of plastic in the way. What is it with plastic and cars? The plastic stuff is just, fuck, Christ, it drives me nuts. All right. Okay, we've got that halfway through. Now, um, I need a bigger spanner to push plastic out of the way while we reintroduce the new fan belt. And probably all you can probably see is my arm at this angle. <sighs> what a prick. Apologies about the profanity here, but I'm not too worried about getting demonetized here. <sighs> what is this fucking plastic thing doing here? It's bloody useless, other than fucking frustrating me. All right, that was almost what I needed there. I really need that pry bar, that was perfect for this job. Come on, Van Belt, you're almost there. All right. So we're halfway. I'll push that plastic out of the way a little bit more on this side, but I have more grip now. 
I'm only going to do this two more times after this. All right, now I've just got crap in my eye, so I can't tell if I did it or not. Well, probably that feels like I'm on the pulley there somewhere, which is nice. So I want to go to the rearmost groove, because the frontmost are for the alternator pulley. All right, now I can see, sort of, that it's going off at a funny angle here, which means it's probably wrapped around the fan, but we can fix that. Now we've got it around here, that's the hardest part. So, um, can I save the number of times I have to crawl under here? I probably can. If I can maneuver those two over the alternator pulley, I might be able to help maneuver these two past that same gap. Oh, there's so much shit falling in my eyes. Cars bring out the profane side of me. I have to say that much. But I think that's probably the case for mechanics as well, which I am not. Now there's something solid under it that wasn't there before. That might be a fan blade. Maybe if that's stuck in the fan blades, maybe I can maneuver that round and it will pull a fan blade out of the way for me. Nope, that didn't, but let's see if the old spanner here is going to come to the rescue again. Ah, okay, so these little A-section belts, they push through the gap much more easily. So, yep. Yeah. Right, now you have to go up and over that black bit. Oh. Yeah, right, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. These guys are almost there. About 80% here. Look, those two through the spanner and push up. That might convince them to go around the top of that main pulley. Come on, you're almost there, guys. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, I think they're probably through. One's just jammed a little tiny bit there. Well, oh, that got it. All right. We're around the essential parts. Now I'm taking a breather, because screw being dizzy for this long. Back in a minute. Now, another reason working on cars is not fun. Grease and blood and all sorts of other stuff happening. That might have been a previous injury, but it's reopened it and it's pissing blood now. Anyway, I'm gonna go and disinfect that and get these pulleys back on. All right, I'm now standing on the winch barefoot is not recommended and straddling the bar while I try and thread this belt back over its intended path and it would appear that the old belt has stretched somewhat going to push that guy in a bit further uh, it's never simple our fan belt up where pull you up a little bit more might get it just enough over to get our belt on. Oh, I'm ever glad to see that. All right, um, let's see if I can maneuver these two belts over the top of the pulley as well. Oh, beautiful, they went in place. All right, they're in line, and they're on the right two pulleys. I know they're going, they need to be on the outer two pulleys, these ones. Let's have a look down here. This, I'm working on the old 24 volt alternator here now that's on the right too they'll ride off otherwise all right now i just need to get a shifter or a pry bar or something and pull this back to get the right amount of tension on it um i've got to think about how i'm going to do that for a minute all right now i've got mosquitoes hanging around now must have smelt the blood now that should give me the ability to push that up nice and firm hopefully not too tight but there we go switch to righty tighty mode put you in and do this up a bit which is fortunately doing up 
Okay, that can come in now. And I have mosquitoes on my bare legs. Could be time to call it quits for the night. All right. That belt's reasonably tight. That should do the job. Okay, more importantly, it'll grip the groove of the V in there. Now, just got to tension up these other guys, and I've got to get the grease gun on that uh, jockey pulley. So, let's go find my grease gun. All right, so yet again, it's a bit of guesswork on the camera angle. Bears noting too that uh, this is the air conditioning compressor here that we're not using. So the belt, we've got a shorter belt. Where are we? Can I get my grease gun extension in here? We can. Now, put a couple of pumps of grease into that. It feels like it could potentially be blocked looking at that, but you know what? We tried. Okay. How's it feel anyway? doesn't feel like it's got major play on it it's running quite smoothly so that's okay all right let's stick it under our belts oh, which are now got grease on them oh, whose genius idea was it to put grease on this oh, I really don't want grease running around a drive belt all right, I better go and try and wipe that off. All right, got myself a grease rag. So I'm gonna get rid of these excess grease off the front of this thing. All right, some excess grease off that belt would be a good idea too. And I think probably a tiny squirt of degreaser, probably. Jeez, this grease stinks. All right. Now this is the bit where I go blind. Spraying degrees on a belt. All right. All right. I just, a belt that's designed to grip, covered in grease, probably ain't gonna be a good combination. All right. Of course, the rest of it ran down to the bottom of the belt, didn't it? That's kind of how liquids behave. All right, get rid of that grease-covered piece of crap rag. Now, let's push this well out of the way so we don't get grease on the belt like we just fucking did. All right, um, I think it's going to stay like that, and we'll see what happens. Now, I have myself two 19mm spinners that I'm currently laying on. Oh, they're in the patch of my back that I can't reach. Right. So, we get our... What I'm going to do here, going to use our expensive King Chrome one, which is a bit longer, to get a grasp on that main shaft, which, of course, is not a 19mm. Uh, oh, that's right. This guy, however, is. So, if we position you like that, that will give us... The ability to tension said jockey pulley and then this one can do it up oh, if i can get it around it all right oh, come on there we go yep they're on suitably tight all right now we get a good king chrome one in here just get a touch more leverage we might be done. All right. Oh, what a pain in the ass of a job. Fundamentally simple, but also a real pain in the ass. All right, let's get back up the top. I'm just gonna check that the tensions are all about right on the top here. Now, um, I'm gonna point the camera down here and I'm gonna go and start this. And this GoPro will probably serve as my own footage as well because I can't watch this and start at the same time. What I am listening for is that I don't have any more belt squeak. So let's let's get in and uh, whoop, where are we? 
we'll take our keys here and we'll start it. Well, that sounds good. There's no more belt squeaking and the alternator's running. It's time I packed up and find where all my tools are that are laying all over the place now. And my greasy jizz rag over there. All right, let's pack up. Well, that's a fan blade done, or fan belt done. I can't talk properly now. I get about four hours of useful time in a day with multiple sclerosis, so I have already done six hours today and then decided to start this fan belt. So I'm really pushing into uh, overdrive here. So I think we're done with this video. Um, I've probably made plenty of mistakes here and uh, I could probably do things with professional tools too and so could you guys. But uh, this is how I've done it, and uh, it's really for entertainment purposes only. So anyway, if you if you like it and you like the channel, I guess like it. But I don't monetize this channel, so really do what you want to do. It doesn't affect me. So anyway, um, I think the next one on the ambulance is going to be about uh, vacuum lines. I've got to replace a bunch of them, and I've got to pull the battery out and flip it round at some point too. So uh, we'll get to that at some point when I have the energy. Anyway, see you all in the next one.